A reminder for you that we continue to accept nominations for this year's Remarkable Women campaign. Simply head to our website, tristatehomepage.com, and follow the link under the contest tab. And then in 500 words or less, describe why your nominee is a remarkable woman. This year's winner will be chosen from four semifinalists across the tri-state. That right, that's right, and that person will receive $1,000 to donate to the charity of their choice, as well as a trip to Los Angeles to meet with other remarkable women winners from around the country. So this video that you're looking at right now is of Ashley Carney. She was the very first winner in our campaign that began in late 2019. And this morning, we are taking a trip down memory lane. We're so excited to have you join us today. Good to have you with us this morning, Ashley. Mm -hmm. And you're here to give us an update um, about what life has been like for you the past couple years and just what your experience was like to be our first Remarkable mm -hmm. Woman. All right, so um, as they said, I was the first Remarkable Woman of 2020. And my story actually begins um, as a recovery road, a road, a road to recovery. In early 2019, when I was 11 weeks pregnant, I actually had a stroke. Wow. And um, lost the ability to walk, had some speech issues, mm -hmm. some other minor, um, minor deficits as well. And it did take me several months to learn how to uh, walk again independently sure. and uh, fully recover. So I think that was the biggest part of my, my story and um, my remarkable recovery. So. Yeah. Wow. And you're so young to have had a yeah. stroke. Uh, yes, Usually was, you hear about older people, but yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, I was 31 years old. Wow. My goodness so. gracious. Yes. So who nominated you for the, as a remarkable woman? It was actually my husband, and oh. I was not aware of the nomination until I actually received the phone call informing me that I was a finalist. Great. So, yeah, I had no idea. So the whole, uh, the first call, receiving the first call was um, really overwhelming and just really special. <laughs> And what was that like to receive that call and then go from that to having the story done about you and then to find out that you won? It was a whirlwind of emotions, yeah. that's for sure. It, was, it all happened so fast. Um, and it was a, a real, a mo an emotion that you really can't describe. Sure. You know, for other people to think that highly of you and um, find you as remarkable, it was really special. We had um, friends and family and people that I had met along the way that shared the story all over um, all over the country and that was uh, just made you feel really special and um, yeah it yeah. was just it was a whirlwind of emotions like I said an emotion you really can't describe just really special right and our winners they, they go on a trip uh, and also they uh, they get a thousand dollars to donate to a charity of their choice unfortunately you couldn't go on the trip because COVID-19 hit mm -hmm. correct yes um, so the they announced the they awarded me um, in early March, and then of course later that month we all know right. what happened. And yeah, yeah. So um, it was a bummer that I didn't get to go on the trip to New York City. Back then it was to New York City, and uh, that's yeah. one of my most favorite favorite cities. Oh. Um, but that's okay. The trip was just going to be the icing on the cake. Sure. You know, winning winning was what was really special. So. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, tell you the date now. I don't know. Maybe I'm breaking news on this. Our, uh -oh. our reception is going to be April 2nd of next year, and okay. we want to make sure that you attend. So okay. we definitely want all of our past winners to be there. Um, we're working out what time of day, but it's going to be April 2nd. Okay. So mark that on your calendar, and mm -hmm. um, we definitely want to make sure that you're there and, and honored and remembered as our original Remarkable Woman. What have you been up to? Uh, since then, life has been really busy. So our the, the little girl that I was pregnant with when I had the stroke. She is four years old today. Wow. And today? Happy birthday. Today, today oh, is her birthday. fourth birthday. <laughs> What's her name? Her name is Brooklyn. Brooklyn, happy oh, yes. birthday. Yes. And, um, and we also have two other boys. So life has just been busy. Life Absolutely. is busy uh, running the gym. I coach gymnastics. And we actually just had our first gymnastics meet this past weekend. And we have five more before Christmas. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, so we are we are very busy right now. Just yeah. but that's just kind of part of it. So right. did you ever think after having a stroke you'd be coaching gymnastics again? No. No. I life was so uncertain. Um, in those first few months, you know, not even being able to walk and then wondering if I was going to be able to even care for the th you know, the two kids that we already had plus the one on the way. Um, no, it was very uncertain, but I was so thankful for many prayers from all over, uh, much love mm -hmm. and support, and my own perseverance that really just helped me to overcome and push through and fully recover. Well, thanks for coming in and sharing that Absolutely. story with us once again. And just to reiterate here, here's how you do it. TriStateHomePage.com. Yep. Uh, on the contest tab, there's Remarkable Women. It's a quick little form you fill out, and then in 500 words or less, 
why the person you're nominating is a remarkable woman and it can be something they do in the community or as you just heard the story now just overcoming mm -hmm. uh, a hardship that you never think would happen to you so there it yes. is nominate and help us uh, find our next remarkable woman That's in right. the tri-state don't forget uh, the deadline is november 30th so you have until november 30th but don't wait until the deadline Please. we need you to get it in before <laughs> then um it's already we're already nine days in so get those nominations in all right up next ron's back with your forecast